<clears throat> What's happening, guys? Um, I had an interesting experience the other day. You can call it a sort of daydream, sort of flashback. I don't know how you can describe it, a vision. Um, but it was really detailed, and it was really um, interesting and in-depth. Uh, the description I was given of what I would describe to be as another dimension as many of you already know, I see many such dimensions in dreams. Sometimes, uh, more often than not, it's uh, the current region that I'm located in, in California. But I've seen other variations of the Earth from all over the world to Brazil, to Europe, to Africa, and everything. And in this particular case, it, it, it was very specific to California. And uh, I was in a town called Hemet yesterday, where we have family and where we were celebrating a birthday party. And um, we drive up there, and from that town, you can clearly see uh, a really well known mountain here called Mount San Jacinto. Um, it's where Idlewild is located, and um, there's actually a lot of myths and legends and lore relating to this town, It's uh, to that mountain. I've hiked it numerous times. It's a really interesting place. And uh, I'm driving and I'm looking at it, and then we go to a park where you can see it. And I'm having a sort of a flashback where I see this large city kind of enveloping the entire mountain, uh, which is strange. Um, you can, I saw it both from the perspective of daytime and at night full of lights and things like that. And it completely was almost infused into this mountain and not just that mountain, all of the surrounding mountains were urbanized, uh, which is not the case where we are now, you, usually the valleys are what is urbanized and the mountains, which are much harder to build on or not. I think that's pretty common knowledge. Um, and this was the other way around. Okay, so I see the flatlands where I am uh, devoid of human populations, um, except for just fields and fields and fields of very, very interesting looking farms. Uh, there were really bright green and lime colors and lavender and all these really strange, like pinkish hues, whatever it was they were growing on this land. And next to these fields, there were really like makeshift like structures. They almost look plastic. That's not the right word. They looked very temporary, okay? Like they were not permanent like almost tent-like and they were set up as like a sort of place to where people could go live and farm the land and everyone else lived on the mountain okay so i'm sort of intuitively internally asking myself what is this what am i looking at why am i seeing it and i was told that this is another dimension of earth that has a very peculiar uh, situation um, it's a natural uh, sort of occurring situation that sort of forces people to live in the mountains and the way it was described to me was really strange was that you know how like the nile river basin would flood or the mississippi would flood and the soil would be enriched with um, all sorts of minerals and uh, the waters would retrieve and then it would sort of regenerates the soil right so it's the same sort of idea here except it's coming from the ocean so the ocean floods the land twice a year in this reality and it does so by these massive cave systems that are adjacent to the coastline. So these really large cavernous openings, uh, there would be a very, very high tide, right? Almost like a tsunami-like tide that would occur twice a year. 
and it would push that water into the caves, which would push the water into underground rivers, okay? And uh, keep in mind, like, you might be asking, well, salt water, how is that going to regenerate the soil? Like, wouldn't that just kill everything? Maybe this is not a saltwater ocean, okay? Maybe things work differently here. I was not given that answer as to how this works exactly. I just saw that the the tide would go in, it would flood these caves, the caves would flood these rivers, and then the rivers would rise up and flood the soil from beneath the ground, like kind of like an aquifer, and they would completely flood the land, okay? Uh, and before this would happen twice a year, uh, there would be signs that people would know about, and they would retrieve, they would take out, take down their tents, and this naturally occurring process, I was told, uh, was happening twice a year. Now, I was also able to see the actual city itself, and a really peculiar, fascinating-looking place it was. Um, I see these gray, symmetrical, like, three-story structures. Kind of reminds me of... Greece, like maybe Athens, but not really. Um, they have these really large uh, panels. The buildings have these really large glass panels, and it's like really old style glass, like you would see in the 1900s. And the frames would be colored all these various shades and colors. And so you had these large windows with these small buildings, and it looked kind of strange but cool at the same time. And you have these very narrow streets, cobblestone streets, and these structures were, they, they were the dominant structure in these cities. And you would see these sort of moped car-like things moving about. And uh, I was also given uh, the sense that this place was really oriented towards some kind of faith or religion of some kind. Uh, I saw lots of people like wearing robes um, and dedicating themselves to some kind of faith that was not, it's not a faith that we know about. And uh, it's also this faith is somehow uh, correlated with this natural occurring process of the flooding plains. And I don't know if this is just a regional thing in this dimension where this occurs or if, if this is global where all the oceans would, would flood these cave systems all around the world and flood the, the lands and everyone has to live on mountains globally, I have no idea. Uh, all I know is that for some reason, this sort of knowledge of this dimension popped into my head. And was it a fascinating place? place, place? Absolutely. It was a fascinating place and I would go there in a heartbeat, it would be really interesting to look at and see um, like a very different type of environment in the same location. So uh, I love glimpsing into other dimensions. I don't know why. I, I just think it's fascinating to see how other realms operate, you know?